Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 482. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College of Scent link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 481 to 483. Hey, in this trick here, we want to do a pivot table. In fact, one, two pivot tables. I want one to be grouped by month. We're going to take these dates and group the data by month. And then one on the same sheet grouped in quarters. Now, the we'll run into a problem and then we'll see one workaround. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts in this. Alt NVT is the keyboard shortcut in 2007 and 10. To, it's a keyboard shortcut that relates to the ribbons. And Alt DP is a keyboard shortcut from earlier versions. Now let's do this one first. Click, we have a properly set up data set, field names, records. Click in one cell and I'm going to use Alt NVT. This is in 2007 and 2010. There's a one-step pivot table wizard. I'm going to say in existing sheet, and I'm going to pick a location, maybe right there. You got to leave a few above for um, page or field report uh, field, uh, and then you can't do it right next to the data set either. And I'm going to click OK. Now, <coughs> date. By the way, this problem doesn't occur in earlier versions and has to do with cash, which we'll talk about in just a second. Date, I clicked it and it put it down into the row. I'm going to right click, group, and then for this one I'm going to say months and years. And just like that it uh, groups it. I'm going to click sales and drag it down to values. I'm going to close this and so now you can see we have years, months, years, month, and there's the sum of sales. Let's do a second pivot table, NV Alt NVT. I'm going to say existing worksheet and I'm going to put it down below, at least that many below, and then click OK. Now I'm going to click the date down to rows and the sales down to values, and boom, look at that. It's already grouped. It is looking at uh, the same data that this is the cache. Now watch this. No problem. I'm just going to change it. Right click, group. And for this one, I'll say instead of years and months, I'll click months off and then click quarters and then click OK. Oh, that looks great. We got our quarters, right? Ah, but it's doing the same thing to this. What's happening is when you do a pivot table, the pivot table isn't looking at the original data. It's looking at a cache, which is the data stored in memory. That is why when you change data, pivot tables don't immediately update, you have to always right click refresh if you're updating because it refreshes the cache. Then the cache goes back and looks at the raw data. Um, but in 2007 and 10 when you create a pivot table to save file space, they use the same cache. So this one and this one are using the same cache. I'm going to go over to this sheet and watch this. One way, I'm sure there's other ways, the way I do it is I use the old keyboard shortcut Alt DP. That's from the data menu, pivot table, pivot chart. So when you do that, it doesn't bring up the 2007 10 one step pivot wizard. It brings up the old three step. So watch this. I'm going to click here Alt DP. There's three steps. Uh, where, where, where is the data? There it is. Um, in Excel, pivot table, next. It's guessing right, so I click next. And then finally, I say existing sheet. I'm going to say, um, this cell right here. And then click Finish. And then I can do the same thing, Date. That's how you do it in earlier versions. Right click Group. And I'm going to say vroom, Months and Years. And then drag my Sales. So now I have that one pivot table. I'm going to click back in the set, Alt DP. Um, next, Next. Uh, and here's what it asks. Your new report will use less memory if you base it on your existing report pivot table 5, which was created from the same source data. Do you want your new report to be based on the same? No, I don't. If yes, you'll save memory. If no, the two reports will be separate. No. Click No. And so now I can say existing sheet. And I'm going to scroll down at least this many and then click Finish. Now I can put, see it doesn't have, it's looking at a different cache of data. So I can click here, right click, Group, Quarters, I, I don't want months, Years and Quarters. Click OK, I'll drag my 
sales down here. Ooh. So now I'm going to close this field list. And now I have this one has quarter data for the year 2010, 11. And then up here, that still shows me the group by month. All right, so Alt-DP, three-step wizard, two different caches. All right, we'll see you next trick.